All right, guys, so today we're gonna to start our math lesson with some jelly beans, okay? So, Ms. Johnston has three stacks of jelly beans, and there are five jelly beans in each stack. So, here's what I want you to think. When we see things like this, it makes us think of multiplication and division. So what I want you to do, real quick, after I get through explaining, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to see if you can write me a multiplication equation for these jelly beans. Remember, I have three stacks, and there are one, two, three, four, five in each stack, okay? So pause the video. All right, so if you wrote your equation, it should look like this. Three stacks of jelly beans, five in each equals 15, right? And I'm gonna change colors because that one's not very bright. We'll switch to red, hopefully that will show up. All right, so usually I make you write the related facts, okay? So that's my fact family. So remember in multiplication, your big number goes in the back, your total goes in the back, but when we divide, your total will go in the front. Your big number's going in the front. So these are my related facts, or we sometimes call them our fact families, right? So your lesson today is all over multiplication and division. So here's the page that you have in your packet. So the directions say, solve the following word problems. Please remember to send a copy of your work to your teacher. So you're gonna work this problem out and Miss Johnston wants to see pictures on every single problem. Okay, I'm gonna read them to you. Safrina put a total of 42 cupcakes into packages. She put six cupcakes into each package. What is the total number of cupcakes that Safrina used in the what is the total number of packages Safrina used for these cupcakes? So I know it's already given me my total, 42 cupcakes. And she's putting six cupcakes into each package, okay? And then I wanna know how many are in each package. The next one, it says, Kevin and his two brothers. I'm gonna stop right there. Kevin and his two brothers, so that's three people. So three brothers ate a bowl of grapes. There were 27 grapes in the bowl. Each boy ate the same number of grapes. What is the total number of grapes that each boy ate? So remember, we have three brothers. There were 27 grapes. I wanna know how many each boy ate. Okay. Lynn has a total of 36 sodas in packs. There are six sodas in each pack. How many packs of sodas does Lynn have? So she's got 36 packs. And there are six sodas in each pack. So how many packs does Lynn have? Rebecca planted 21 flowers in her garden. She planted the flowers in three rows with the same number in each row. How many flowers did she plant in each row? So she's got a total of 21 flowers. She's putting them in three rows, right, with the same number in each row. That's important. How many did she plant in each row? Okay, so that is your first assignment. Okay, so you need to do this and an even problem from our choice board. So I'm gonna go over those. Last week we went over the odd numbers in purple, so this week we're gonna go over the even numbers in red so you don't get confused, okay? So it says practice your multiplication facts for 10 minutes. Then use your multiplication cards to play war with the family member, see who gets the most facts, okay? So we've talked about war. You can play war, take a picture of yourself playing war, send it to Miss Johnston. 
Number four, roll two dice. Use the numbers to create slash draw an array. Label the rows and columns. Write the equation to find the area of your array. Write a sentence to explain your solution. So we've done this one before. I'm gonna remind you what it is. So say we roll a two and a four. So Ms. Johnson's gonna make an array. Remember your array is your dots. I need two, time sign in the corner, and then four. Remember, we already have a dot for going this way. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna double check. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two times four is eight, okay? So, we labeled our rows and our columns. And then you're going to write the equation, which we've already done, so I'm going to come write it out down on the bottom. And then you need to write a sentence to explain how you found that and how you did that. All right, so that's number four. Number six, you're going to create three multiplication facts, one digit by one digit, so nine times five, and list the related facts for each each multiplication fact that you created. So, just like we did over here, we're making a fact family. So this would be one. You would have to come up with two more, okay? So one, two, three. Making three different fact families. And I'll even write that. Okay. Um, and the last one, number eight, it says, use a deck of cards to study your multiplication facts. Draw two cards from the deck and multiply the numbers. So, ace can be one, king can be 11, queen can be 12, and jack can be zero. If you wanna throw those in there. If you wanna take them out, that's fine too. So, play with a partner to see who can come up with the answer first. The person that answers first wins the card. The person with the most cards at the end of the game is the winner. So you're going to put them all in a stack, put them all in one stack, and then you're going to draw a card and another place person's going to draw a card. And whoever answers first, and it has to be right, they get the card. And then whoever has the most cards at the end is the winner. Alright guys, so that's your math for this week. Remember, one even number and your math assignment sheet. All right.